Hey everybody, welcome to Active Cell Protection Extra. We're here at C2 Tactical in Scottsdale. Thank you to them for letting us use the range. And today I am actually carrying a gun strong side. Oh my gosh, I know everybody's gonna freak out because I'm an appendix guy. But I wanna talk about strong side draw and strong side holster so that you're doing it safely and effectively. Many thanks to Magtech Ammunition, the sponsor of today's Active Self Protection lesson. It's the only ammo I put through my rifles or pistols at the range. So today I have an HK VP9. Okay, again, I'm HK's brand ambassador and I am carrying it in a Black Arch Protoss M three quarter uh, Kydex hybrid holster. So go watch the gear review on that. Uh, and I'm just standing at seven yards and I wanna talk about holstering and unholstering. So drawing a firearm from a strong side position and doing that effectively. Now I do think, and I've said it before, I think appendix is faster and more reliable, but uh, what we're going to do here is I just want to show you the mechanics because what I see people doing a lot when they go to draw from the strong side is they kick this elbow way out, they do it appendix as well, and try to get a hold of the gun this way and that means that they've got to then take their elbow and drive it back in when they get their hand on the gun. What I want to think about doing instead when it's time to safely draw from my strong side position is I want to think about rowing a boat. So if I had a row, an oar in my hands and I went to row a boat, I wouldn't kick this elbow out this way. First of all, it would make my, my wrist weird on the, the oar. I'd lose all my strength in my lats and I would have to use my deltoids. Well, that's the same thing here. So instead of this, what I would do with an oar is I would just go straight back and then I would bring that back up and straight back. So what I want to think about doing when it's time to draw a gun from a strong side is think about rowing a boat and rowing an oar. Straight back and then straight forward. So this is a minimum of problems. So again, one of the things that I see if I turn around here when people do this is in order to clear space here, they get way out here like this so that they can get to their gun and then come back around this way. Well, of course, that's wasted motion, wasted motion, wastes time. And, and gives you away as well. So instead, really all I want to think about from the back is I am rowing straight back and rowing straight forward so that I don't have to waste that time. So from the front, again, that same thing. What I'm doing is I'm coming here, grabbing a hold of my cover garment. Now I'm grabbing not in my belly button like I would for appendix carry, but I'm grabbing strong side, continuing to row back and getting the gun and then grabbing the gun straight forward and driving through in order to get. Let me show it to you from the side. So one of the things that I see people doing a lot of when they're driving from the strong side is they're trying to get this stuff out of the way and get enough space here to get on the gun. So they're thinking about kicking this out to get over and get on the gun while they're fishing all this stuff out. Instead, if I'm here and I'm like, hey man, I don't want any problems. I'm from a surrender posture. Again, I roll back, roll forward, click. Notice that I didn't move anything that didn't need to be moved. Now then, uh, if I am from here in a, in a fig leaf posture, if I'm in a fig leaf, I'm gonna do the exact same thing. So if I show you here from a fig leaf, I'm just gonna row back and row forward, okay? That's all I'm gonna do. Uh, if I am, uh, you know, again, defensive fence, those are the two that I really like to do. So from a fig leaf posture here, all I am going to do is I'm gonna row the boat back, get the gun and drive it straight forward. That's all I'm gonna do. Let's try it a few times live fire so you can see what it looks like. This will be interesting. This is a VP9 that I have never fired before. It's a VP9 2020 that's unfired. I wonder if it's gonna run these 115s or it's gonna have problems. Okay. Um, now then, I just loaded this gun. So now I wanna be very cautious and make sure that I holster this firearm uh, completely correctly. So when we talk about holstering a, uh, a firearm strong side, a couple things that we're gonna do. We're gonna bring the gun back to us. We are going to then clear our cover garment while we touch ourselves with that gun. We're gonna clear all the stuff and look and go, is my gun, is my holster clear? It is, step my strong side foot in, bring the muzzle back here and touch the outside. It's gonna do a couple things. Number one, make sure the gun's not pointed at me. Number two, if I have one of these little flappies, it makes sure that it's not covering the holster. So then that way I come up and then very safely, carefully, reluctantly put it in the holster. And now the gun is safely holstered. So we're just at seven yards and I don't even care about that stuff. I just wanna show you what it looks like a little bit here to do this with the row without the problem. So again, if I start here because I am normally kind of a fig leaf kind of guy, so when it comes time to uh, get out of the, uh, to remove my cover garment, what I'm doing here is I'm coming over with this hand and grabbing a whole bunch. Now I'm not grabbing it sideways here because that will actually pull my, my cover garment around and make it harder for it to get off of my, uh, the uh, grip at the butt of the gun. 
So instead what I'm doing here is I'm coming over and grabbing a hold north to south. So then it, it gets the gun and starts removing the cover garment. And then as I'm rowing back, I row around and up. So what I'm doing is I'm drawing a C back to the center of my chest. And you can see what that's done is that's cleared all this stuff out of the way. So then that way my cover garment is completely clear. That's how we do it. So we're not talking at significant speed here. We're just talking about the mechanics of doing it. So if I'm here at a fig leaf position, just show, shooting the A zone at seven yards, I'm coming back, getting the gun out, driving, seeing my sights and pressing the trigger. Excellent, we're good there. That's the first shot that this VP9 has, this particular VP9 A1 has shot and it did a fine job. Great, got an A zone hit, life is good. Now it's time to holster again, come back to here, see it, step my strong side foot in, tap, reluctantly holster, good. Now from the, the you know, defensive fence, hey man, I don't want any problems. This looks, this looks a lot like, so when people say, hey, put your hands up, Instead of this, hey man, I don't want any problems. I like this, hey man, I don't want any problems. You, you got it, dude. Here are my hands, whatever. Looks exactly the same to a bad guy, but it gives me uh, my elbows tucked. Gives me a little better place with which to draw a firearm if I find a time to counter ambush. Same thing from here. All I'm going to do is I'm going to row the boat, come over, clear the cover garment, drive it out to my sight, press my trigger, and my life is good, and I get an A zone hit. Reholster safely. Get that out of the way. Tap safely, carefully, reluctantly holster. So safe drawing and holstering from a strong side position. That is my recommendation of how you do it. <laughs>